Hi everyone, uh, this is Josh Kos of Edge of NFT, uh, live in Venice with a very special individual to talk about a very special upcoming event. It's great to hang out with you, Orbs here. Yeah, man. Thank you, Josh. Um, he's just hanging out. I, I was moderating a panel with uh, John from Toonstar. You guys will hear that on the show. Um, and I just saw how tuned in you were to the conversation around AI, but I didn't, I didn't met you yet in person and we had talked on the phone. And it all just clicked when, when you introduced yourself because this is your, your lifeblood too. Um, you know, what was, what's your perspective on AI at this exact moment in time? Right now, I think it's one of the biggest, one of the greatest hopes that our generation and mankind has to creating a more sustainable future and a more evenly distributed future. Because it's such a powerful technology that everyone has access to. And the powers that be can't rein it in as fast as we're creating it because it's perpetually creating. We're perpetually creating something that is almost out of their control. And it's the first time that we've had an edge on a new technology so quickly. So to me, it's one of my greatest hopes. I'm not the doomsday kind of prepper where like, you know, it's going to hit the nuke on us. I think that's some like weird backlog shame that humanity has but we can't program that into the AI. We can't, we can't passively kind of program it. We have, to, we have to hope that it is gonna be one of our greatest allies. I mean, it's really difficult to, to live in a world of, of fear. You mm -hmm. know, it, it's not the right way to live, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're sort of embracing it and you've been sort of reflecting this philosophy in your work for some time. Um, uh, I, I've known about your, your previous installation. I think everyone in LA knew about it because anyone that went said how dope it was. Mm. And um, you know, you have the big uh, new piece of work coming up in, in June 23rd, Nouveau. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to sort of take the conversation towards how your perspective on AI has influenced your work in, in this upcoming installation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, so there was a very direct connection between the AI work that I was doing and the neo Vo world that I'm creating that's like the physical, I started generating these uh, kind of melty, psychedelic pillar landscapes, like kind of like Roman Greco architecture in a weird dream. And I was doing it so frequently that I started traveling there in my dreams. Wow. Like in one week, I traveled there five nights which was to me like, it was something that I could study. I'm like, how do I keep going there? Because I'm having these regular dreams. Were you doing anything to invoke lucid dreaming? I'm or a just... lucid dreamer. Okay, just so, naturally. Yeah, but it's been a practice. I mean, it's been something that I've been into since I was 16. Like my first lucid dreams, I went to a place in the future for two weeks. For two weeks, we were nomadic. I lived a whole other life where I was that person. I didn't even know I had another body. That's so interesting. I'm in, yeah. um, listening to Andrew Huberman here and there. The and, um, you know, he talks about how to induce more dream states. Yeah. So I've been messing around with it yeah. when I have time because yeah. it, it takes you to a deep place and then you have yeah. to process that. Yeah. But you get to process it with your work. Yeah, that's the, the work that I do is directly connected to the influence that I had in dreams. Because I was going to these, when I was like 16, 17, I had a basement as a bedroom, so no light broke in. So I would have entire summers where I would sleep in and I would go to these places that I didn't know were so special until I told people my dreams years later that I was going to these future, super monolithic, crazy, incredibly architecturally elegant places. And to me, it was just where I hung out in my dreams as a kid. And then later I was like, whoa, I told people my dreams. And they're like, what the, f I dream about like a goldfish swimming into my mom's car on a, on a mountain. I'm just like, I have those too. But I go to these places so super often, even as a kid, where like I wasn't I didn't know about architecture. I didn't know about these ancient civilizations. Like I was just getting in, but it was there present to me, these worlds. And so I started doing the Neovo kind of like uh, AI a image generated. And I went there five nights in a week where every time I wake up I'd be like, babe, I went there again. And she's like, Again? Like I was having normal dreams where I see my family, I see my friends, random things happening, but I'm in this, this stone pillar dreamy landscape and I can't help but to notice that I'm there again. So I got lucid because they happen so frequently that I'm like, I want to travel around this place. And then Neil Vo as a show concept was accepted where I was like, I want to take people there. 
I went there, how do I take people there? This is something that I can build off of. It's pillars, it's psychedelic, it's dreamy. How do I get people there? So I started conceiving this, uh, this idea like six months ago and uh, in 16 days and on the 23rd it's going to be shown at a very like a, in a in a very cool way yeah yeah at, um shout out to our friends at future factory yeah. they, they hosted um you know one of the official opening parties and closing parties yeah. for outer edge la it's an amazing space really amazing uh founder uh, -huh. uh paul hemming who was just yeah. on the show yeah and uh yeah i can see how that spot that energy could really sort of and vibe, um, you know, the big second second show. So yeah. what can folks expect? Obviously, um, you, you don't have to dream it. You have to come to, yeah. to the exhibit, check it out. But yeah. what can people expect? I think what they can expect is to see and feel something that maybe they don't, they don't remember. It's like reminiscent, like going back to kind of like a, like, the pre-state, the in-between the dream, where you're kind of waking up, kind of dreaming, is to be in this kind of like in-between state where you're questioning what reality is. That's what people can expect. So don't drink too much coffee. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about getting like uh, a long night's sleep the night before no. because the more sort of in it, you're yeah. gonna enjoy it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't gotta train for so, this one. So the end, end of the week, you could be tired and yeah. you're still gonna show up and it's nah. gonna be amazing. If you show up tired, we're gonna have bean bags to catch you and a full 3D show to relax and like activate your mind. I'm cool. putting in all the, because since I did Resolution in LA, my first show, I've been professionally been designing and being part of big stage productions for big artists. So I took all the things that I learned on that and I took it to my work. So now I, I feel like with this show, people can expect a lot, a new level of kind of refined, you know, like qualities. Because when I did the first show, it was just like, here's a bunch of experiments, let's see how it goes. And this time it's going to be something that's like, wow, he did his homework. You know, because I take it seriously, like this is something, this is my expression. Let me take all the things that I learned in my professional life and apply it to my show. That's dope. And, you know, there is sort of two ticket levels for folks that want to go all yeah. in and really support you as an artist. There's a VIP experience too. What's yeah. that all about? So uh, general admission means that you're going to have to come in at slotted times. VIP is the gold pass. You're one of us at that time. It means that you believe in the vision, you know what's going on, you, you think you know what's going on, but you see that there is something deeper to this than just showing up and watching the show. So you're gonna kind of join in on a journey of, you're, you, dude, you, 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 you helped fund this in a way, you believe in it, you want the top-notch experience, here you go, here's a gift bag, here's, uh, here's the passes, here's the gold pass to being able to make this night what you want. You know, and you're one of the homies instantly. You know what I mean? You yeah. want you want to go there with us? We'll take you there. The crew is incredible. So like the everybody on a team. Like we have uh, Tarun, who uh, he's my manager. He runs Reality Center, which is like the premier biohacking, sensory wellness, uh, like a PTSD veteran. Like it's a laboratory with the most cutting edge tech. And so he's like taking me on, and as a mentor, seeing what he's doing. He's got all the science behind it. I have more of the art philosophy, so when we merge, I don't even know what's gonna happen. I just know it's gonna be something that's pretty like groundbreaking. I'm really excited. I can't wait to be there. I'm honored to be a media partner for this yeah. event. Um, thank you also for giving our listeners a, a discount code. So uh, Edge VIP, uh, yeah. one word, will we'll hook you up with 25% off either yeah. pass. Um, don't know how many they'll be because yeah. these tickets sell, you know, maybe things get tight, but yeah. uh, grab it when you can yeah. um, and, uh, you know, meet us there and, uh, you know, look forward to uh, seeing you in a couple weeks again, Me man. Me too, man. I'm going to be in a different state. Actually, kind of the same state, this lucid state. But I feel like the people that come and that trust that this is... This is gonna be a new type of experience are gonna be pretty mind blown. I can bet on it. I'm putting well, everything I have into it. Your reputation precedes you. If anyone went to the previous exhibit, um, you know, they had amazing stories to tell and obviously you gotta step it up yeah. with AI, like we just learned on that previous panel. 
like you can go 80 times faster. So yeah. um, I'm sure you've yeah. hit the accelerator oh, button man. over the last. I'm on full nitrous. When, when, when was the last exhibit? How long ago was it? So this was, uh, I did Art Basel 2022. So it's been a minute. 2023. Yeah. I played Scope last year, which was just like a fun DJ set on their wall. And then before that, Resolution, May 2nd, 2021 was my first like, I don't know what I'm doing, but here I am. Cool. I just did this because I, I got obsessed. <laughs> so a little over a year from anniversary of, of yeah. the beginning of it all and uh, really excited to be there and celebrate uh, everything that year has created for you. And uh, thanks for making us part of it. Yeah, man. Thank you, brother. I'm so glad you guys are a part of it. Thank you, guys. Come to the show.